Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will demonstrate how Windows API functions are used in programming. I will show you a simple C program that creates a file and writes some data to it. This is a program written in C that uses two Windows API functions, create file A and write file. This is the name of the file to be created. This is the line of text to be written to the file. The create file A function is called first. Upon successful file creation, data is written into it. Now, let's take a closer look at the create file A function. This function has seven parameters. Each of these parameters contains a value, which influences how the file is created. Let's take a look at each of them. The first parameter contains the name of the file to be created. If the file is already present, it is opened. The value can be the file's name or a path. The second parameter represents the level of access to be obtained on the file, either read or write or both or neither. The third parameter contains a value to indicate whether the file can be shared or not between processes. You can take a look at the official documentation from Microsoft to know what the possible values are. A value of zero means that the file cannot be shared. The fourth parameter contains access control information for the file, indicating the users that can read the file and write to it. When it is null, a default value is assigned by Windows. The fifth parameter indicates the action to be taken through this function call. Here, it means a file must be created only when it does not exist. There is another option, create always, which creates a new file even if an older one with the same name exists. The older file is overwritten. Take a look at the official documentation for the other possible values. The sixth parameter indicates if any special file attributes must be set for the file, to indicate if the file must be hidden, or archived, or encrypted. The final parameter, when not null, contains the reference to a file from which file attributes must be copied. When reversing a malware sample that drops malicious scripts, you may find that the Create File A API has been used to create a hidden file at a specific path. Knowledge about all the parameters of this API will help you understand the behavior of the sample. Now, let's take a quick look at the next API used, write file. There are five parameters specified here. First is the name of the file to be written to. Next is the content to be written. Next is the length of text to be written. The next parameter stores the number of bytes successfully written. And the final parameter sometimes contains information when data is appended to a file. This program has been compiled successfully. Once it is executed, we can see that a text file is created and data is written into it. Did you observe how two simple functions helped us create a file and write to it? In this way, a number of Windows API functions are used to write applications. When performing reverse engineering, you will see that a single sample uses a number of API functions. You will encounter variants of different functions, each with its own set of parameters. You can look up any Windows API in Microsoft's official documentation. You will first find the syntax or generic representation, along with the list of parameters used. The data types of all the parameters will be mentioned. Following this, you will find a detailed explanation of the possible values each parameter can have. You can find information about the value returned when the API succeeds or fails. When you look up a function, take a look at all the possible variants of that function. I encourage you to get familiar with reading this official API documentation from Microsoft. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. 
Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!